When it comes to hockey, Sacred Heart takes pride in their Division I team. When the Pioneers play at their home rink in Milford, students fill the stand to support their friends on the ice. But when head coach Sean Hanna resigned in September, after a 13-year career at SHU, the athletic department had to scramble to find a replacement. Coming into the season, there was confusion in the place of a head coach. Dan Muse, our assistant, I, he was the one who recruited me, mm -hmm. and then he left right away. So I mean, it was weird not having any head coaches, like I just, like, why well, was this place unorganized, like, I don't know, but it's coming together. Just two weeks before the start of the season, C.J. Maritolo was named the new head coach. It was definitely hard having a new coach come in. We weren't sure what to expect or whether we were even going to get a new coach. But uh, when C.J. came in, it wasn't much of an adjustment. We kind of just uh, did what he said, and we all kind of bought into the system that he implemented for us. Our systems are a lot different, and our practices have changed a lot. Everything's more up-tempo. Seems like everybody's trying a lot harder and giving it their best shot. We caught up with Coach Maritolo for a behind the scenes interview to get to know him and see how he has adjusted to his new position at Sacred Heart. Yeah, it was kind of unique being chosen as the coach when the season had already started. Usually uh, someone gets, you know, the head coaching job and you have some time to get your feet underneath you and figure things out. Uh, it was a little unique that we went right into practice. We've been playing hard. Uh, that's one thing that we've talked to our guys about. We want to work hard every day um, and the results will take care of itself. And uh, the guys are a great group of guys and they work hard and they're fun to be around and that's important. I'm coming with knowing what, what it takes to succeed, what it wins to win championships. And uh, that's our goal here at Sacred Heart. I mean, we're unlike uh, no other school in the country we want to win a national championship. You have an impressive resume as a player and a coach. Um, what would you qualify as your greatest achievement? Greatest achievement in hockey? Uh, you, know, you might think this is funny, but the greatest achievement that I get in hockey is working with youth hockey kids. And uh, there's nothing better than teaching a kid how to use his inside or outside edge and teaching them how to stop. He's been crashing into the boards for three months and finally he gets it. That to me is, that's a, I enjoy those kind of achievements. I coach the Yale Might A team. My son is on that team. I don't get there all the time because of my job here at Sacred Heart, but uh, I get there enough where uh, we have a lot of fun together, so. What has been your impression of the Sacred Heart community so far? When I came here on my interview, I went home that night and I didn't know whether I was gonna get the job or not. And I told my wife that the people here were so genuine. Everybody I met, from uh, the vice president, Jim uh, Barconero, to the AD, Don Cook, to all his staff, to the players that I met on the interview, I just got a really great feeling from everybody that I met. I thought it was a, uh, a neat, welcoming place, and uh, I still ha hold that feeling today as well. What are your expectations for the season? Our plan is to go out and have fun every day at practice, get better every day. And when the playoffs come at the end, we want to be playing our, our best team hockey of the year.